When I first came here, many of our patients had profound multi-system disease, and now that's really significantly changed. So in 1985, of all the patients who needed a knee replacement, 25% of them had rheumatoid arthritis. Now it's about 5%. You, you find here physicians working together in a way that is very, very atypical of many hospitals. We work together taking care of patients not only in terms of their orthopedic and musculoskeletal problems, but also their medical problems. I was at work and I just couldn't get up. I went, was taken to the emergency room. From there, went to my primary care physician, who immediately said, it looks like rheumatoid arthritis. Julia Catapain and I have known each other for almost 20 years, and she came to me with obvious arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is a systemic autoimmune inflammatory disease that focuses mainly on the joints. There were times that I couldn't do my house chores, and cooking is my pastime. There were times that I just couldn't chop. My hands were swell. Her high function has to do with Dr. Padgett because he's always there for her. So even if she's down, he brings her back. She lives a full life, and that's a far cry from the way it was at the very beginning. We've had a number of studies primarily focusing uh, on the role of these cytokines in inflammatory arthritis. If we can understand that, then we can design new treatments to use the healing powers of the patients themselves to turn this process off, and that, I think, gives us a chance to cure the disease. It's a chronic illness, and you become part of their family, and they become part of your family. And it's that long-term relationship that rheumatology is all about. We've had wonderful relationships with some of our patients who become very engaged in supporting the research that we do. I think the, the best developed example of that is our Mary Kirkland Center for Lupus Research. It was really a burning desire on my part because of all of the problems that I had gone through getting diagnosed, that my mother went through getting diagnosed, to do something to both help better understand the disease and improve the quality of people's lives. We looked around for the best place that was doing lupus research at the time and Hospital for Special Surgery had a great reputation. When you look at where we've come from where we started, it's pretty remarkable. Lupus is really immunologic anarchy, where the immune system reacts against self. After I had my second child in 1992, I started having problems. I've been following a vet for 15, 20 years. Finally, in 1998, they told me that I had lupus after being going doctor and doctor, you know, it was very difficult. She's had all of the treatments that one could have that were standard, as well as being in experimental trials. And her disease has always been very, very difficult. It's not like a uh, regular mother, you know, she could take care of herself. I have to be there and make sure she takes her medications, that she's doing well, that she feels all right. 2009, I get sick and really, I pass out and nobody knows what really happens to me. I called a vet to discuss a lab test with her, and she said, oh, by the way, I have fever to 103, but I think it's from my flu shot. And I said, no, I really think it's important that you go to the emergency room now. And within four hours, she was in septic shock on a respirator. She's, like, in coma there, and she can't talk to me. Like, one day she's, like, perfectly fine, and then the next day she's there, like, pass out and she spent two or three weeks in the intensive care unit on life support. And I came up, and I'm here. <laughs> back to work, back to my life with my children. The vet's been very forthcoming, very enthusiastic to participate in all the activities we have at Special Surgery. She has volunteered to be in the registry. A patient registry is part of a research effort. It's very important because it provides a scientific objective basis for doing clinical studies and ultimately therapeutic trials in patients with rheumatic diseases. Collecting data 
about patients and their interactions with others is an incredibly important part of understanding how the disease progresses. With the support of the Rudolf Rupert Foundation, we've developed a considerable number of projects and activity and interest in clinical research in scleroderma. There was no real scleroderma registry in New York City that really allowed physicians to see how a large, statistically significant group of patients were progressing in both the stages of their disease and also as various treatment regimes were tested. Scleroderma is an autoimmune connective tissue disease where patients develop fibrosis of the skin and internal organs as well, almost like a scar over their entire skin. We really try to involve all of our patients here in clinical trials and clinical observation. I was lucky to have very good rheumatologist in New Jersey and he knew about the trial in HSS. And he knew the team and he told me this is excellent team and they put myself on the cleaver, which is the trial medicine. So we started the largest and longest clinical trial of Gleevec and scleroderma, which we've recently completed with some encouraging results. My flexibility starts improving, my energy starts rising, my appetite also starts coming back. We're hopeful and expect that over the next several years, our scleroderma program in HSS will evolve further. We're hoping to establish a true center for scleroderma here. They have what I call a human dimension. They lift your spirit and they make you feel that you can't cope with the disease. Anytime you can bring people together who feel like they're suffering alone or with just their families, with others, I think that support fabric can be incredibly beneficial and therapeutic. We want to be not just good doctors, but innovators. And I think it's through developing these disease-focused centers of excellence that we're going to be able to make a real contribution to advances in rheumatic disease care and research.